Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our annual winter concert. Thanks. And we ask now that you all please rise for the singing of our national anthem by members of our after school chorus. again and welcome to our annual winter concert here at Ansonia High School. My name is Maria Tangretti and I have the distinct pleasure of teaching the students that you will hear perform tonight. It's been a very fun ride so far with two snow days, a delay, and a full moon to keep things interesting. Let's just say it's been kind of weird. Um, well, I wish I had the time to talk about the unique gifts and experiences that every student brings to the table. What I will say, especially so, is that you have all raised some wonderfully kind, compassionate, and interesting human beings. They are honestly some of the most pleasant people that I've ever had the pleasure to work with, this year in particular. So thank you for sending us your, really some wonderful, wonderful students. Tonight's program will essentially be in four parts. Our instrumental ensembles, our solos and duos, a brief intermission where I encourage you all to buy some handmade crafts from our wonderfully talented art students, and finally from our vocal ensembles. We want to keep tonight fun and festive while still being respectful of the student performers on stage. We have some familiar seasonal music mixed in with some non-seasonal music. So without further ado, we'll bring up our first set of readers. Good evening, my name is Isabella and I'm a Facebook Parks in the band. My name is Michaela Quinn and I am a flutist in the band. Tonight we're happy to start our winter journey right down Santa Claus Lane. Gene Autry was inspired to write this traditional tune after riding his horse in the Hollywood Christmas Parade in 1946. Since then, it's been covered by many artists from Elvis Presley to Pentatonix, making it a timeless classic. For our academic purposes, pieces such as this help us explore various articulations, swing with rhymes, and gives each section opportunities and melodic responsibilities.
reset button for, for the next piece. I want to talk a little bit about our alumni. We have many of our AV alumni with us tonight. And some band alumni and chorus alumni that were great to see. Um, many of our alumni, just to, as a testament to what a nice program of just really some great kids are doing awesome things. For example, one just finished law school and passed the Connecticut bar exam. Another one is in PA school at Emory University. And another one is a Marine just preparing for deployment to Afghanistan. Others are complete, yes. Others are completing their doctorates in pharmacy, finishing firefighter training school, earning bachelor's degrees in social service, education, and some are even performing stand-up comedy with some of the biggest names in the business. So a variety of things, but what they have in common is A, they are all great people, and they have this department in this school. So the students you'll see tonight, and kids, you should really listen to this too, you're standing on the shoulders of giants, literally, and um, undoubtedly you're going to go off and do great things as well. We have our next, our next readers. Hi, I'm Alan, and I'm a junior in band. Hi. I'm Jonathan, I'm a freshman, and I play trumpet in band. I'm Ashville, I play the clarinet, and I'm a senior. Here comes Santa Claus, and our next please, Sleigh Ride by Leroy Anderson, have the year 1946 in common. In this case, it was, it was the heat wave of the summer of 1946 that inspired the late Connecticut resident and composer for the Boston Pops Orchestra, Leroy Anderson, to write this piece. It was originally intended to be an instrumental. The lyrics were added later by Mitchell Parrish. Interestingly, it was never designated as a holiday song. The original lyrics don't even mention the holidays. For our purposes, this piece helps us to explore rondo form, where a repeated theme is interspersed with contrasting, modulating sections.
our, our horse, Idalise. <laughs> and also Alan, the clip club of the horse. And then, of course, we have Gianni cracking the whip, <laughs> making sure that that horse gets moving. Um, so we have a few moving parts going on. Actually, if we could turn on the house lights for a moment, it looks like there's some people that need to find a seat. So we can do that and we'll get set up. And maybe, just maybe, Brian and Zanai might have a couple of jokes for you. Hey, my name is Brian Lee. I'll be your host today. And I'm Zanai. I got a good joke for you guys. Wait. Okay, go. <laughs> what do you call an old snowman? What? I, I really don't know. I, I do not know. I... Water! <laughs> Hold up yourself. It wasn't that funny. No, oh, no, 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 another one, no, another one. No, no, no. Brian, come back. Brian, come back. No. I got one. I got another one. What's that? Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Snow. Snow who? <laughs> it's no use. I forgot the joke. Hi, my name is Justina Samuels, and I play flute, and I'm a junior. My name is Angel, I'm a junior, and I play the clarinet. Back in May, we were humbled and overwhelmed by the response of our community when we put out a plea to replace our aging percussion instruments. The old harnesses were falling apart, making them unsafe. Bars on our marimba were warped, and the rims on the bass drums were cracked. Bass drums were cracked. Should the grassroots effort that began with the Valley Community Foundation's Greater Give and continued with the Catherine Matthews Foundation and the VFW Post, we are proud to say that we were able to replace nearly all of our percussion instruments because of you all. We are truly grateful for the generosity of so many, so we will use this opportunity to share our instruments that we would normally use for parades and football games by playing some of our pep, pep tunes to say thank you.
So we really, from the bottom of our hearts, want to say thank you so much. Not only did we raise money to replace, we were thinking maybe we could at least replace some of our instruments. We raised enough, you raised enough, donated enough, where we were able to receive $21,000. I'm back. <laughs> hey, Brian. What's in that? Hey, Brian. What? Hey, Brian. Yeah? Hey, Brian. What? Brian. Yeah? Hi. <laughs> what type of diet did the snowman go on? What? The meltdown diet. <laughs> What do snowmen call their offspring? I, I, I really don't know. Children. <laughs> All right, Bob. All right, and just in time, I think, we're ready to announce our next song. I'm Brianna Deere and I'm a freshman percussionist in band. I'm Alana Deere and I'm a freshman flute in band. One of the foundations of beginning musicianship is the understanding of the concept of the ostinato, a repeated, a repeated, repeated rhythmic and or melodic pattern in music. More widely known as the Carol of Bells, Ukrainian composer Mykola Leontovich wrote this piece in 1914. The original folk story related in the song was associated with the coming new year, which in pre-Christian Ukraine was celebrated with the coming of spring in April. In 1936, Connecticut composer Peter Wachowski of Ukrainian descent added the lyrics which associate this piece with Christmas. Peter Wachowski was the grandfather father of Mrs. Jane Hafner, current chorus teacher at Lyman Hall High School in Wallingford, Connecticut, the alma mater of AHS faculty members Mr. Bonai, Mr. Brockett, Mr. Casey, and Mrs. Crooks. Earlier this year, our senior music students were treated to the High School Nation Music Festival at Lyman Hall and also had the privilege of meeting Mrs. Hafner. Our AHS connection to LA is strong. <coughs>
Thank you. Um, this brings us to our last band piece for tonight, and then you'll hear some solo work that our students have been doing. Sorry for the delay. I am Orion Johnson, and I am a freshman trombone player in band. And I am Gianni Nasusis, and I am a senior percussionist in band. African Noel has become our winter concert signature piece. The text says, Sing Noel, Sing We All Noel. And is set to the Liberian chant called Bunawa, that is often used as a stick passing song. It is performed in call and response style. In our version, we rely a great deal on our percussion se section to set, a, set the mood for this piece. But the fun part is that everyone in the band gets to participate during the song. Enjoy.
I say, hey! Hey! How are you guys liking the show tonight? Hey, Brian. What? How do you scare a snowman? How do I scare a snowman? Just pull out a hair dryer, man. Just melt the thing. Just, just melt it. Huh? No. Okay, you're good. Have a good intermission. Thank you. Good luck. I got I got my tooth. I've got one. Oh no. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. What do you call a reindeer with no eyes? What do you call them? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> so the next group of students you're going to see, we have a lot of kids who explore music outside of what we do in our classroom, and we have several who really like to challenge themselves. And we had two this year audition for regionals, which is Every, students from every high school coming together as either a band, chorus, um, orchestra, jazz band. And to do that, they have to prepare an assigned piece that's a little bit extra challenging from what, um, from what we're used to doing. So right now we have Idalise Martinez. <laughs> Yes, she also played trumpet tonight and also played sleigh bells. <laughs> played a lot of stuff. student from our department from she's in band but she's also in chorus and Isabella Mullis will be singing for you Caro Mio Ben.
to get uh, both of the ladies that you heard tonight are both seniors, so we need some more of our chorus and band people to take on that challenge for the future. Um, and we're going to end with something fun for the first part of our concert, not end. Um, after this, it will be intermission. Chorus people, you will go to the chorus room at intermission unless you're part of the crew that is setting up risers. So you guys know who you are. And last but not least, we have two more seniors. We have Gabe and Joe, and they're going to do part of one of their Mario medleys that they work on, on our brand new marimba.